Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I can be picking up on someone around you or someone you can be dealing with so you might have to swap the roles and if this reading doesn't resonate right away, it may be something that happens down the line. If you'd like, keep it in your back pocket or you can come back at a later time. We're going to look into what messages need to come through for you guys for this upcoming week. See what messages you may need to hear, get some insight, wisdom, guidance, whatever needs to come out hopefully that you guys are doing well and let's just get into this reading all right any messages for aquarius someone rising venus for the next week any messages for aquarius please regarding this upcoming week what can aquarius be mindful of or need to know aquarius someone rising venus any messages for aquarius please any messages for aqua messages for aquarius someone rising venus for the next seven days, what messages does Aquarius need to know? I'll be mindful of any messages for Aquarius. Show up clearly. Okay, let's get into this. Any messages? Oh, we got the Five of Swords coming out. All right, let's see what else needs to come out before I speak on this. Any messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the next seven days? Chariot. Okay, so you guys are definitely walking away from something, or you. Moving away. Action. Any messages for Aquarius? Y'all are a little quiet. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Any messages? Oh, oh, okay. Um, I don't know. We'll to put these to the side. What's this? Okay, the star Aquarius, you guys coming through. We also have the eight of wands and the ten of wands in the reverse. So we got a little extra cards coming out, but we'll keep that. We'll keep it. Bottom of the deck, we have the four of cups, the ace of swords, and the ten of pentacles. Okay. Okay, so let's just get right into this reading. Aquarius, you're walking away from something, you're leaving something behind, or you're trying to heal from a situation. As you're healing from this situation, you are moving forward with your life, so don't know what exactly happened here, but you're definitely releasing something. We have the Ten of Wands that came out in the reverse, which is telling me that you chose to release some sort of baggage or burdens of some sort. You released a lot of heaviness in your heart, um, and you're, again, with the Eight of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Chariot, this is pure movement. You're taking action towards a new beginning, or you're moving away from whatever this burden was, or possibly a betrayal, or a lot of pettiness, or a lot of, like, like a battle, or conflict, or arguing, or just something that was just wasting your time, or draining your energy. And so you chose to let something go to grow from it because we have the page of pentacles this normally talks about recognizing your personal growth from the situation your experiences and what you've gone through and what you've gained from them no matter how bad it might have been no matter how horrible or upsetting heart-wrenching stressful scary there's a lesson behind it or there's something that you can take from it there's something that can help you in the future if you reflect on the situation you learn from it grow from it right and that's what you're doing here you're staying hopeful about the future about what's happened or where you're going like you're not letting whatever this is hold you back from what's coming to you in the future you're looking very confident you're looking like you are having trust and you're having faith in what's next to come you may actually be getting recognition for the work you've been putting out or just being your authentic self because with the star this talks about being in your true nature being your true self not having to water yourself down not having to you know dim your light just 100 percent being you and not feeling sorry for it and not giving a shit if people like it people hate it this is you take it or leave it type of energy over here and i really like it um i do feel like you are finding a sense of balance within like yourself healing a lot healing your heart so maybe you're spending some time out in nature or you should if you're not get some fresh air if you can if the weather's nice if it's rainy maybe like dress a little bit warmer get an umbrella or something like that um just like spend some time out in nature really just get out get some fresh air okay that's all i'm gonna say but yeah <laughs> um you could be dealing with an aquarius cancerian we have a little bit of air a little bit of earth light a bit of fire all right um at the bottom of the deck we have the four of cups the ace of swords and the ten of pentacles and the eight of swords so some of you might be feeling a little bit blocked um or you're feeling stuck or you're feeling bored or you're having a hard time thinking outside of the box or expanding with this four of cups you could be reflecting or looking on the things that 
you wish were differently or wishing things were changing. Truth is, you gotta look at the situation for what it is. Look at the blessings behind the curse, basically, okay? So there's something you're not seeing. There's something that you're overlooking or you're ignoring. Maybe you're ignoring signs or opportunities that are coming to you. You're just turning things down. Whatever the case might be, you're requiring to look at things from a different perspective, with a different mindset, with the Ace of Swords. This is all about trying to find a breakthrough, trying to break out of this um, closed-mindedness. Whatever this Four of Cups is talking about, you're definitely needing to listen to your heart and listen to your calling. Listen to, you know, if there's this fulfillment, if there's this dream, there's this wish that you want to pursue. Um, but you doubt yourself or maybe there's fears that get in the way or there's some sort of blockage Possibly mental blockages that you're needing to cut through look at underneath the eight of swords We have the queen of swords. She's like you got to take that sword and cut through all The blockages because these these blockages in particular They're actually just made up their your mind. These could be stresses fears, but they're illusions. They're not real it's really just yourself becoming your own blockage, you um, becoming your worst enemy and literally getting in your own way, your own growth. And so you can do anything if you do it. Because if you just sit and you miss out and you're just like, oh, maybe I'm not good enough, or you just doubt yourself, then guess what? You're going to miss out on an opportunity that could bring you a lot of potential, a lot of growth, a lot of abundance and stability, financial security. If this is regarding your finances or work or something that can bring in money, whatever this, whatever you're trying, whatever, whatever has been lacking in your life, you need to look at it from a different perspective so that this blessing can come in basically, okay? Whatever this blessing is, you know deep down it can be possible. You know that you can have it. You know that you can, you know, whatever your dream is, whatever your wish is. Okay, well, I want to travel or well, I want to do this as a career, but I'm scared about what other people think. But I want to be my true self, but I don't want to wear a mask. Like, you just, you got to shut those fears down and just push through it. It's scary, I get it, but guess what? At the other end of the table, you're going to have this, all right? So you kind of have to push yourself out of your comfort zone if you're wishing for things to change. If you're wishing for things to be different, you got to make the change. You can't just sit around and do nothing and hope that um, someone's going to come knocking on your door and that's going to be your lifesaver and it's going to change everything. Like you have to be the change. If you want to change, you have to be the change. You have to do something, even if it's changing up your day-to-day -day routine, doing things a little bit differently, just picking up a new hobby, trying something else new. I don't know. Do something different for once. Wake up at a different time, eat a different meal, learn how to cook something different. I don't know, switch something up, change something up in your routine or maybe a couple things. It's always like even moving moving your furniture around your house. I don't, I just like looking around like furniture. Some of you maybe want to move furniture around or you should because it's moving up that stagnant energy. If things have been feeling stuck or boring or stagnant, time to switch it up. Get some new throw pillows. Paint the walls. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why this is coming to me, but for some of you... And if you're still in quarantine, you got time to kill, do something like that. Freshen up your house. Do some spring cleaning, you know. Um, throw out shit that you don't need to carry anymore. Like, make room for new things. And that's kind of what it's saying. Like, this ten of wands in reverse. Releasing, letting go, and making room for new things. New energy, new people. All right? That's pretty interesting, okay? So I'm going to take these two cards that were extra. I'm just putting it back in this deck, but we can reference to them later. I'm going to start clarifying... Um, and let's just get into this. So, pretty interesting so far. Here's the Five of Swords for Aquarius. Summer Rising Venus. Here are the Five of Swords for Aquarius. Try the Five of Swords for Aquarius. Oh, 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 that is too many. <laughs> it's like five cards. I'm not taking that. Try the Five of Swords for Aquarius. Summer Rising Venus. Aha. Breaking yourself out of those mindsets, out of those fears, out of those illusions that we were just talking about. You're finally cutting yourself out of that. That's good. You're moving. You're taking action. I like it. Also, you're healing yourself from old mindsets, old ways of thinking. For some of you, you were having doubts or fears or you're used to negative self-talk but you're catching on you're realizing things need to change that you need to be your own best friend not to be your worst enemy right so that's just this little message for someone out there uh, the five of swords um for aquarius the king of swords <laughs> there you guys are aquarius energy a lot of aquarius coming through you guys are definitely in your element 
and the world see so you're wrapping up a cycle you're wrapping up that cycle of letting your fears get the best of you letting those illusions hold you back from what you truly want what you truly desire it's time to push through it's time to go after what it is that you want be very clear with what it is stand up towards that set some boundaries if you got it like if you are one of those people who procrastinate or if you push things to the side i'll do it later i'll do it later do it now if you got that laundry to do, do your laundry. If you got dishes you gotta wash, wash your dishes, okay? As you're listening to this, wash those dishes, clean your room, clean your house, clean your bathroom. I don't take the take the trash out. I don't know who <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear these, but take that trash out. I bet it's full. So go empty that trash bin. I can't even speak. <laughs> I don't even know where this is coming from, y'all. This is so annoying. I don't even know. Anyways. Um Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, be very clear with what it is that you want, okay? Um, with the King of Swords, you're also very logical, using that mindset, right? Mind over matter type of situation that you can get through whatever comes your way. And now at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands, the Prince of Wands, and the Prince of Pentacles in the reverse. So I'm just feeling like it's time to take action. It's time to go. It's, time, it's no more waiting. No more sitting around. It's time. If you want to change, like I was just saying, with that four of cups that came out, I was like, if you want to change, you're going to have to make the change. You can't just sit around and stand and look and wish for this to come. You got to move towards it because whatever this it is for you, this wish, this dream, fulfillment, it's not going to come towards you. You have to move towards it. So you got to take that action. You got to push through. You got that nine of wands. You got to persevere. Even though it's a little bit scary. And it's just a final push. You got to just take that leap of faith over here, okay? You just trust and believe that you'll reach a place of stability. We have the four of wands underneath those cards, okay? Also, with the world, I forgot to mention, but you guys are wrapping up cycles. You're changing, you're growing, you're expanding, you're learning, you're causing endings, and you're entering new beginnings. So just release control, go with the flow, trust that there's a bigger picture to what's currently happening in your life. The reason why things are stagnant, well, I don't know the reason why. Could just be your own downfall, but... That just means that down the line, things are going to be crazy. So if things are a little bit boring, a little bit slow, or you've been having a lot of free time, just know that like a year from now, you're probably going to be really busy. So take advantage of this time. Enjoy it. Get that rest. Uh, recharge because who knows, a few months from now, you could be super busy and drained and you don't have time to do all these simple little things, these little chores or these little, you get what I'm saying? So just take advantage of the time you have now because things are going to pick up. With that chariot coming up next, things are going to pick up, okay? Anyway, so let's go into this, uh, the chariot for Aquarius. Tell me about the chariot, please. For Aquarius, summer rising Venus. Try out the Aquarius. I mean, tell me, about the, tell me about the chariot for Aquarius. Oh my god. Tell me about the chariot for Aquarius. Then my deck's upside down, so I'll flip it. I have the chariot for Aquarius, someone rising Venus, I have the chariot, oh, we have a car that flipped out, ooh, we have the princes of swords, you might have a little watcher, a little stalker, a little admirer, whether this is someone you already know, someone you have at a, a distance, someone you may be on block, or this could be somebody brand new, we'll see, oh, okay, well, we got our answer, because the five of pentacles literally just flipped out, so this is someone you put on a pause, you put out into the cold, put at a distance, you ice them, Somebody could be keeping tabs on you or seeing that you're very confident, that you're moving towards places, you're moving towards your goals. I'm just saying. Yeah, Prince of Swords in the reverse. But they're not taking action, so don't panic. Don't. Oh my god. Don't worry, okay? This, I don't feel like this person, whoever this is, is taking action towards you anytime soon. I feel like there's someone who is watching you from afar, but they're not saying anything. They're very quiet. Maybe you have them blocked, or they're just even thinking about you, and you could even be energetically picking up on that. So you've been wondering, why does this person keep popping up in my mind? Or why do I keep getting reminders of this person? Why do I keep dreaming about this person? Why do this? Why do that? Um, you could just be picking up on them energetically if you have that energetic tie. You definitely put a lot of people, or even just one person, but it could be multiple people at, like, a distance or block them. And they definitely are seeing what you're up to. They're wondering what you're doing, especially with all the retrogrades going on right now. Venus and Mercury. No, Mercury retrograde is happening next. Oh, no, wait. Shit. What day is it today? Oh, fuck. We're almost in June. Oh, my God. This year has gone by fast. Okay. I don't even know what fucking day it is, you guys. So, don't. <laughs> I'm like, is it Monday? Is it Friday? I don't know, dude quarantine got me fucked up anyways um 
Mercury retrograde, June eighteenth or around there, give or take, is when the pre-shadow starts or something like that. Oh, no, pre-shadow starts on the fifth or something. I'm gonna have to Google this shit. With all the retrogrades going on right now, definitely brings that past energy back, or not even like that. People from your past will come towards you and reach out. More like a time to reflect, a time to reevaluate and look back on things, to look at some lessons that you've learned, things like that might be coming up so even though there might not actually be someone physically reaching out to you you might be dreaming about this person you might be thinking about this person you might be getting reminders or things popping up that make you think of a certain situation or some experience that you've had right so just that's just a little heads up okay because it, it's that time of year it's that energy so just letting you guys know but yeah um there are past people looking at you watching you from afar seeing that you're confident that you're moving you're taking action you're not stagnant anymore like you're moving towards something um they're watching you they're not saying anything and i don't think they're taking action towards you they're just they're just lurking like they're literally just being quiet and lurking in the bushes and like what is aquarius up to you know it's just like of course you want to know uh, bottom of the deck we have the prince of wands the three of cups and the hangman and the nine of swords yeah so see if there was someone who's trying to come back towards you they're not taking action it's stagnant they're overthinking they're they're they know that they fucked up i'm just saying if someone fucked up they know that um other message though i do feel and this is completely now let's not talk about the past anymore let's focus on you if you guys have been feeling stagnant or feeling stuck right it's time to look at things from that different perspective the hangman we also have piscean energy coming out okay it's all about looking at things from that different understanding a new idea or a new like through a new pair of eyes or new glasses <laughs> some of you maybe get new glasses i don't know um get your eyes checked <laughs> i don't know this is such a weird reading anyways um you're wanting to take action you're wanting that excitement you're wanting that passion in your life you're wanting to go out and celebrate and have good times right but as of right now you're not really experiencing that but that doesn't mean that you won't experience that in the future right because things are a little bit stagnant now, but things will pick up. Like I was saying, things are going to pick up. Um, but some of you are a little bit worried that it won't. Or like, what if it doesn't? What if I'm stuck in this? What if what if things don't change? You know, but you got to break out of that mindset, which is what you're doing. Because with that King of Swords, you're not going to some sense to yourself. You're not going to let yourself overthink over some dumb things, right? So you're going to catch on when you start doubting things or when there's these fears or you're wondering, what if I'm stuck in this forever? Like, what if they're, they're, what if this is it? no no and no you're wrong all right right now things are stagnant for a reason but things will pick up eventually when the timing's right okay so just know that but good times are coming down in the future so just hold on keep doing what you're doing this is just a period for you to reflect to recharge to grow expand you know how it goes anyway so this is all just for your personal growth the page of pentacles here for a time to like reflect and figure out what it is that you truly want. Find this page of pentacles. Plus you're plus, like you're wrapping up endings, so you gotta you gotta deal with this first before anything new could come in and you gotta deal with this past crap first. Just saying if you guys are wanting new things or new people, relationships, opportunities, you gotta deal with this un unfinished business and then you can move forward, alright? that could just be what's blocking you from that new chapter anyways page of pentacles for aquarius this will oh my god this is not hold on there we go do i have the page of pentacles for aquarius okay wow we, we got judgment we have the ace of pentacles oh my god <laughs> okay what do we have and the hermit so ace of pentacles in the reverse on the hermit virgo energy yes yeah, so what I'm feeling here is if there was an opportunity to reconcile with people from your past or people who you've disconnected from or whatever, if there was an opportunity to reconnect, um, don't think you would accept Ace of Pentacles in the universe. Obviously, it's up to you on what you want. But what what the cards are telling me is like, there's an opportunity. If there was, you'd be like, no, thanks. And you would kind of just retract with the hermit out here. You would just kind of, no, I'm going to just I'm gonna just stay in my lane. Thanks, but no thanks. Like, hell to the no. <laughs> um, quite a bit of Major Arcana coming out in this reading. Just saying. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's like, he's like, thanks for the lessons, but I don't want to go there. I don't want to go down that road ever again. Thanks, though. Thanks for the offer. 
Uh, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, the Devil, and the Five of Swords. So that's what you, that's what you are leaving behind. This is what you're wrapping up. Is that Five of Swords that first came out here that you're trying to heal from? And you are. You're releasing yourself from that with the Eight of Swords in the reverse. We had the Ten of Wands in the reverse over here, right? Um, you're releasing yourself from that. This could have been with a Capricorn. This was definitely some sort of partnership, whether this is an actual relationship or a partnership or... Um, for some, this is like, you know, co-parenting, something like, I don't know, something like some sort of partnership. Definitely something about that partnership was unhealthy because we have the devil coming out and we also have the five of swords. So that's what that five of swords is about. There is a partnership over here, whatever that partnership was. Maybe this was business. Maybe this is friendship. Maybe this was like I was saying, co-parenting or whatever. Something about it was unhealthy, draining, exhausting. Whatever the case is, you can fill in the blanks. That's what you're trying to heal from. It's looking like this is going to wrap up sometime soon. Maybe with the eclipses coming up, it's going to be like that final, um, that little push, that final closing chapter situ. I don't know. Get what I'm saying? Maybe not. Whatever. We're going to move on from this. And let's go into the star. I just saw two, 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 two on my timer. Trying the star for Aquarius. the star for Aquarius oh my gosh okay um okay we'll keep it we have the king of cups coming out oh so in touch with your emotions right because there's all that water in this card with the star the water being in touch with your feelings right but you're in control you're not letting your emotions control you you control your emotions you control how you feel okay um, you are very nurturing, you're maybe you're very healing, your energy is healing, something about you is just very, like, replenishing, something about that. Um, oh wow, with the high priestess, some of you do a lot of spiritual work, or you guys are just very in tune with your higher self, I'm just letting y'all know. Pay attention to your intuition as well, okay? Your intuition is definitely, like, if you have that gut feeling to go after something or to go down this road or to try this out, to work on something, to try this project, trust that there's a reason why you have that urge and do it, okay? Just do it. That might be the change that you need. Um, but whatever, I see that whatever it is that you invest yourself in, this wish fulfillment, this star, whether this is a dream job, whether this is, I don't care what it is. Whatever it is, though, if you work hard, and you invest yourself, and you stay determined, and you don't give up, th this it's going to pay off, okay? Something big, all right? You could be helping a lot of people. May some of you may be a therapist. I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, I don't know. There's random shit coming to me. Um, and then we have the Prince of Cups out here. So, so that's kind of, oh, yeah. Let's see. Some of you are a therapist. You're really good with words. Or you're very, like, since you are this King of Cups, clarifying the star, you're in the King of Cups, you guys have this, like, very nurturing but healing aspect of you. And you're really good with helping people. Or, like, you're just, like, a people person. There, you have some kind of gift that can help people. Or, like, you can really make a difference in people's lives. Like, I don't know, something about you, you inspire people, you're very inspiring, especially if you're being your authentic self and you are just being you. People admire you and people look up to you or like, you just give off that type of energy is what I'm feeling here. I don't know. So we're just gonna leave it at that. Let's just get some advice and affirmations, okay? Any affirmations for Aquarius? Some of our Venus regarding the weekly reading. Any, oh wait. Advice. Did I say affirmations? Any advice for Aquarius regarding this weekly reading? Yes, for this upcoming week. Oh, wow. We have the butterfly coming out. You guys see, there's that transformation. Y'all are going through major changes. <sighs> Releasing, letting go. It's like that metaf metamorphosis. I can't even speak. Any advice for Aquarius? Rising Venus for the upcoming week. Any advice for Aquarius? Sea Serpent. There's that healing energy, y'all. Very nurturing, very healing, very just like soothing about you. Any advice for Aquarius? Or you could be spending a lot of time healing. And then we have Elk. Okay, so we got some masculine energy coming out, whether you're female, male, I don't care. Okay, we have Earth, we have Spirit, we have Air. Let me get the book. So the butterfly, undergoing great change and transformation. The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is an element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships or if you love your job, perhaps your career. 
Since transition is accompanied by the amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon. Committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer done at the same time and place will do wonders for lifting a butterfly's spirit. When in balance, cheerful, graceful, when out of balance, fragile, and frustrated, and to bring in a balanced daily routine. So, you know how at the beginning of the reading we had the four cups, and it was kind of like, you guys are getting a little bit bored, or things are stagnant, you're wishing for a change, right? You guys are kind of in that stagnant period. Think of the butterfly, right? When they're going through that metaphor, metamorphosis, I can't speak. When they're going through that change, they go through that cocoon, right? And they're in that cocoon for some time before they hatch and they come out as the butterfly. You guys are in that cocoon stage right now. You're not a caterpillar, but you're not the butterfly. You're in that in-between stage and you're ready to just burst into that butterfly. But right now, things might be stagnant because you're undergoing those changes. You're reflecting, you're growing, you're closing things out, you're entering new cycles. And once you deal with that past shit and you work on that self and you work on healing, because the next card is all about healing... <coughs> you're going to come out as this butterfly so this is about your change this is about your transformation and it recommends that you guys commit to something once a day something about a daily routine or doing something at the same time same place like meditation or a workout or going for a walk or anything that's just even if it's for five minutes whatever that is for you do it once a day every day and it's going to make a change all right, that's going to help you throughout this kind of stagnant period before you reach this uh, transition, okay? So, pretty fitting. <clears throat> pretty fitting. Then we have the sea serpent. So, it's the sea serpent. Healing emotional wounds and expressing desires. The sea serpent represents the energy of expression. Whether it's emotions, creativity, sensuality, or desire, the sea serpent helps us move and direct our energy into a healthy current. When the essence of this card is in balance, we express ourselves creatively and sexually without fear or shame. We know what we desire most. Our hearts are at ease and our relationships are meaningful and enduring. We loosen the grip of self-judgment and we let the cool waters of forgiveness in to heal our wounds. When the energy of the sea serpent is not yet activated, our emotions and creativity are left in the muddy waters. The current of expression stagnates in some areas of our lives and other places it floods. It's important to remember no matter what the waters of our emotional lives look like, the sea serpent loves us just the same. Like the mother, she wraps herself around us in a gesture of protection. She supports us as we learn to express our true nature. So you guys are definitely being watched over and protected right now. You are supported. And this is all about you on that healing journey, healing your heart, reflecting, expressing, learning, growing, and releasing that judgment over yourself, you know, allowing yourself to feel what you feel. If you're angry, if you're sad, if you're upset, if you're happy, if whatever you're feeling to just express yourself, don't hold it in, don't bottle that shit up, just let it out, free flow, and you'll feel so much better, okay? So if there's some things you gotta let go, you gotta release, do it, it's gonna make you feel a million times better. And it was saying, um, that when this energy, this healing energy isn't activated, things might be feeling stagnant. So if you're feeling stagnant, are there some things that you've been pushing aside? Are there these emotions that you've been ignoring? Like, have you been just pushing under a box and pushing it to the corner? Like, acknowledge these things so that you can look at them, reflect, feel what you feel, and then the next chapter moves. You come out of that cocoon, right? That might just be it. That might just be that final push. As if you just let out how you're feeling, that might just be what you need in order to break through to the next lesson, to the next cycle, right? Because the sea serpent, it looks like a little serp, like, you know, like a cycle, right? something like that. Okay, and then we have elk. Stable, resilient, headstrong, and the father. The great elk represents the earth element in its masculine form. This means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's many changes. An elk personality, whether male or female, is fully established within themselves and know their core values. They become known and respected for acting in ways that uphold those values. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated, but for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy. When in balance, supportive, kind, and consistent. When out of balance, pretentious, high, and mighty. And to bring it a balance, eat and drink more consciously. So maybe that's this change that you guys are thinking about making is... You know, being more mindful of what you put into your body, less fast food, more home cooked meals, some of you maybe learning how to cook, um, something like that, or just incorporating that in more to your life day to day, 
Maybe that's part of your daily routine. Just saying, just throwing it out there from you. But very reliable, very dependent, really good person. We need more people like you, okay? <laughs> um, let's get some affirmations. I'm going to end the reading, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, any, <clears throat> any affirmations for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week? Any affirmations for Aquarius regarding this next week? Aquarius. Ooh, gratitude. Any affirmations for Aquarius? Oh my god. Aw, oh, new beginning. There's that new beginning you've been waiting for. Oh my god, and ability and success. Love that for you. Okay, let me just set that here. Okay, so gratitude. Angels guide you through emotional times. Enjoy life's challenges and fears will soon disappear. Acknowledge when trust and your inner knowing to help move you forward. Affirmation, I'm grateful. <laughs> then we have new beginning. A new idea is being born. The universe is starting the process. Participate and watch life expand in all directions. Affirmation, I'm learning to be me. You guys, learning to be your authentic self. Not having to water yourself down. Not having to wear a mask or feel like you have to fake who you are around certain people. Making sure that you are just being you, yourself, without any excuses, right? And then we have ability and success. You are being directed and what you see as a struggle is fading away. Opportunities are opening up in a number of directions. Affirmation, I'm successful. So see, there's going to be a lot of changes that are coming. A lot of things are moving away, especially the hard times you've gone through. A lot of emotional, heavy times. You're moving past that. You're moving towards a new chapter of your life. And you're leaving all that pain, all those burdens, all those heavy times and experiences. You're leaving that in the past. You're growing from it. You're learning from it. You're not going to forget it. But you're going to have all that wisdom that you gained from those experiences in your back pocket to help you on this new beginning. So that's really amazing, you guys. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.